Security stepped up in and around London in the wake of Friday's terror attack there as world leaders begin to arrive in the UK for this week's NATO summit. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau departing Ottawa Monday morning for the gathering that will mark the 70th anniversary of the NATO military alliance, a group of North American and Western European countries established at the start of the Cold War as a means of defense against the Soviet Union. But now the alliance is facing some uncertainty, in part over criticism from Donald Trump. The U.S. president, who also left for London Monday, has repeatedly expressed frustration at some nations, including Canada, for not spending more on defense. Ahead of the summit, NATO Secretary General announcing unprecedented progress, though, in defense spending among the allies, with an accumulated increase by the end of 2024 of $400 billion U.S. President Trump is right about the importance of uh, uh, European allies and Canada uh, spending more, and he has conveyed that message very clearly to allies several times. But European allies and Canada should not invest in defense to please President Trump. They should invest in defense because we are faced with new threats and new challenges. Our security environment has become more uh, dangerous. Still, Trudeau is expected to face pressure to increase military spending, with Canada's budget still below NATO's agreed upon target. On the sidelines, Trump is expected to hold talks with the leaders of Germany and France. In the run up to NATO, French President Emmanuel Macron said the alliance was experiencing brain death because of American unpredictability under Trump and strained ties with Turkey. The Turkish president firing back, telling Macron to check that his own brain was not dead. Now, Trump leaving the U.S. at a key moment in the impeachment inquiry into the U.S. president. The White House told Democratic lawmakers Sunday that Trump will not be sending legal counsel to take part in a congressional impeachment hearing this week, citing a lack of fundamental fairness. Trump, of course, dismissing the whole thing as a hoax. As for what's next in the probe, a vote on the Democrat-led House Intelligence Committee's impeachment report is set for Tuesday, ahead of the Judiciary Committee's hearing on Wednesday. For City News, I'm Melissa Duggan.